let you in on an aspect of the world that you're uh, not normally accustomed to. I could have been a totally different person. Yeah, right now. Since 12 hours ago. Could have been wearing a business suit today. Who knows? <laughs> With a fanny pack. With a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Just classing up the joint. That's a fantastic idea. It's the only kind of ideas I have, sir. <laughs> it's Corner House Chronicles Day. It's just different enough. And here's the kicker, boss. They're all the same personality. <laughs> <laughs> They're assholes. Yeah. yeah. Just, just 1.5 million <laughs> asshole penguins. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh at him. No, hell no. He'd no. kill you with his pinky. <laughs> he's got to have some Jedi powers or something if he's... Best part. I'm going to try and pace it out, so just as you forget about me, I'll just pop in and remind you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Corner House Chronicles. It's episode 22. I'm John. I'm Jason. And I'm Phil. Phil is here with us this week. I am. How are you? Well, thank you. How are yeah. you guys? Oh, doing okay. Yeah. Surviving. Yeah, I guess. Surviving the game. <laughs> I survived. Ooh. I didn't have power on Sunday and most of the day Monday because the... The storms and shit. Oh, really? Sucks. Yeah. No video games. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I didn't have fucking shit. No generator? No, no oh. generator. That's horrible. It's terrible. And we generally keep the house cold, but like 52 <laughs> degrees was... A little too cold. Yeah, really a little cold. too cold. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people lost power in that storm. That's true. I, I didn't think it was that, that bad. No, not really. I slept through most of it. <laughs> I didn't lose power, so... Yeah. Lucky. Mm-hmm. We don't usually lose power when it. No. No, not usually. But it was weird the way it was set up because, like, two blocks over they had power. And then, like, two blocks after that, there was no power. So I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Sucks. Yeah, that does suck. I had to charge my phone in my car and shit. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> LTE was slow as shit. You know, it's like, Jesus. First world problems. Fuck. <laughs> I missed my YouTube subscription. Damn it. Yeah. Brings things into perspective, right? You're sitting in your car for an hour, letting your phone charge, and you know what you're doing while you're out there, right? Playing on your phone. Playing on your phone, right? <laughs> so I was just watching forever. Netflix, no big, you know. Start it. I had to start my car, plug my phone in, and go in the house. Because I knew if I was sitting out there... And then exact, drive to the gas station. That's exactly what I would have been doing. It's like, fuck, my phone isn't charging. But the charging. gas station's out of power. It was, too. The oh, one right shit. here at the corner was, yeah. Oh, that's right. You live up off of... Uh, I live at, yeah, right across Telegraph, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. It sucked, dude. I, it, it seemed like everything on Telegraph lost power that day. Yeah. Like, I went to Jersey Mike's for lunch. They didn't have power. Yeah. The subway across the street was out. Cordial shop was out. Like, all these places. You had were, to make your you own know, lunch and shit. But Walmart was good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking terrible. You know, I, was, yeah, I had I was to make my own so. Yeah. <laughs> Chris was here last weekend. <laughs> Things got interesting. <laughs> it did. So you have listened to every show, right? You've been a follower since yeah, early yeah. I on. I missed a couple here and there, but yeah. for the most part, yeah. Steady with us, huh? Yeah. We good, appreciate it. Good times. Voting in the polls and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. Got to share them. Even though I'm, I deleted 90% of my Facebook trying to get off of Facebook. Right. So, like, seven people probably seen it, you know. <laughs> seven more. That's seven more people, those. yeah. If we didn't have the show, I wouldn't have Facebook. I'd have gotten rid of it a long time ago. It sucks. It's poison. It is. It's terrible. And then you find out they're stealing all our data. <laughs> I think we already all knew that. Yeah, we did. You know. Didn't they say it was like funded by the CIA or something? It was funded by a CIA bank. Snapchat Backed was. Bank. That from was, what I heard, yeah. yeah. Facial recognition systems. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, I don't Snapchat. No, fuck no. I don't do that shit. Like all the kids are trying to show it to me, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Neat. It's great. You know, if you're a fucking creep. Then, yeah, that's the app for you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was thinking we should talk about firearms. Because the last time we hung out, we went to the range. We did. And we shot, and I noticed you're a hell of a marksman. <laughs> I don't know how long you've been shooting, but you're fucking good at it, sir. Not A pistol, not long. Really? Yeah. Shotgun, I've been, I mean, I hunt with shotguns, but yeah. that's my first pistol. And, I mean, the only other time I shot pistols was, like, Hammer drunk, <laughs> no, no ear protection, you know, up so, north in the woods. Oh, yeah, just pitch black. Wake up the next day and you feel like you just got out of a concert. Yeah, no, you're good, man. Well, yeah, unless you were just on that one day. No, I'm generally, yeah, decent like that. Yeah, very was, humble about it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. No, you are not. I'm not. We were trying to fix your problem, but it's just me, man. I don't know. 
I don't think I take it. I'm I'm really nervous. Yeah, with a gun. In you my might hand. be anticipating. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I am. Uh-huh. But I'm I'm confident enough to shoot an intruder. So that's what I have. You know, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I will shoot you. I'm good with that. If I'm going hunting, it's bow hunting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really rifle hunt yeah. too much. I never enjoyed it as much as the bow hunting. It's more personal when you got to be closer. True. Yeah. Trying to be quiet. There's mm-hmm. more skill in my mind. See, we never. Whenever I hunt. We would just drive the woods, so we'd have ten guys walking through the woods as loud as you can. Yeah, guys on the ends, you know, shit like that. Yeah, shoot a deer. Sure, that's yeah, the shoot most a important deer. thing. Yeah, shoot yeah. a deer, right? That's what the getting I mean, meat. Yeah. That's why you're out there, right? It, well, not when you go bow hunting. There's, a, it's a totally different thing at bow camp. You know, it's all, like yeah. you're you're at the camp with all the people. It, rifle camps are kind of like that. I, don't I always find there's too many people so out during rifle season, though. Like everywhere you go, you see someone in orange. Yeah. I guess it depends on the area you hunt too. True. Yeah. Like, do you have private property that you hunt? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, well, I think I, that would I make the difference. Yeah, okay. I don't either, but it, we know people that have it. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you? What kind of gun you shot? Shotgun. Yeah, twelve gauge. Twelve gauge for the most part. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you just got to practice. practice. That's the other thing. Practice I don't have time. makes perfect. Yeah. yeah. Fuck no. And it's not that expensive to go to the it's range, not. too. No, not really. You know, Ten it, bucks for a half hour, yeah. 14 bucks for... Depending on what type of gun, though. Yeah, bullets depends can get what, out of ranges. Yeah. yeah. Yours is a 9, right? Yep. Yeah. Glock 19. Yep. Yep. Gen 5. Yeah, it was a sweet gun. It was. Shoots well. I she dig it. She got them fucking uh, seven-round clips, right? Or eight? No, what was it? Mine, 15. 15. 15. Yeah. I think they're double stacked. Yeah, like so like a, box, through a, a box, box of so 50 oh, yeah. just goes so fast. He was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, man, I got a half a box yeah, in yeah. here. Shit. Yeah, I try to go once a week. Yeah. Once or twice a week. I mean. You buy like a yearly membership? No, I should. You should? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Get half off ammo. I think you get free range time for the year too. So It's not a bad deal. If you're going to be no. there once a week, shit. Yeah. 300 Pay for bucks. itself. That's like 300 bucks. Oh, really? Year. That yeah. ain't bad. No. I thought it'd be more than that. Get like a bag, some other shit. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Are you an NRA member? I'm not. No. That's my next thing. Yeah. Like I see them on Facebook, like, sign up or you'll lose your guns. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just as bad as everybody else out there. I find when you go to like, say, Cabela's or something like that, they usually have signs up like, buy a gun, get a free year with the NRA for free. Yeah. Or included. It's like three, or it's like 30 bucks for the year. Or hundred bucks for five years or something like that. Yeah, I need to sign up for that too. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I recommend everybody just sign up for it, whether you own a gun or not. I was reading uh, a lot of people, like people in Australia, where it's illegal to own a gun, are signing up for the NRA. Like throughout the world, there's a lot of people doing it. It's well, like that's kind of interesting. Go for it. You know what's yeah. the worst that happens? You get a sticker, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you get a fucking thirty dollars sticker. You know, be be put on a list you're probably already on anyways. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it was weird because they say like you don't have to register or whatever. You know, you don't have to register with the uh, your handgun with anybody or you know after they do your background checks and shit like that, and then they give you like a uh, like where I got mine. I'm pretty sure it's everywhere. Uh, you get like a pistol purchase agreement. Yeah, paper, yeah. And you take it to the to the, the police, police department. department. Shit. Yeah. Just so, so it's like they record. know I have it. Oh yeah. yeah the yeah. state knows I have it. Oh yeah. Now the you know the federal government knows I have it. So as soon as they run your license plate, they'll, they'll know up. you're a. Gun oh owner. yeah, sure. Yeah. You yeah. know Is that same way with rifles and shit like that, or uh, I've was never it bought just a rifle. pistols? I think just I don't pistols. think you have to register a rifle. To yeah. be honest with you, just buy it and yeah, take it home. Shotguns, rifle. I think handguns is the only thing you have to register. Because they're unless you buy like grenades or some shit, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but at that point, you got to be like a level three fucking. Uh, you got to be the man to get yeah. some fucking grenades. You got to have a fucking a full semi grenade, a federal license for it, and they're like over a hundred grand to get. And then there's three different tiers or more, depending on what you can then purchase or deal. I will just buy my shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so if you get like pulled over for anything, you could lose it. It's mm. a lot of regulations and a lot of. Uh, Stipulations with those. Never shot automatic gun before. Neither have I. No. Fully semi-automatic, I have, but <laughs> no, I haven't either. Pretty I'd like sweet. to. Yeah, I'd like to get my hands on one. I want to clean that shotgun up. I have. Yeah, that thing was a mess when we pulled it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's all burnt up and shit. Yeah. Is that it's what happened good. to it? Did you get did you I'm drop it in a fire? It yeah. No, it the end of it, like the shoulder spot is like uh like a rubbery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's almost like it melted. But I think it's from when it was at my dad's house in his closet. It sat and was right above the furnace. Oh, okay. So I think it just got too warm. But I don't know. It's like the Burbs furnace, Jesus. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, Cast iron I, haven't, I haven't shot that gun in 20 years, so yeah. it's been sitting in a closet, you know. I don't know that I'd trust it to load it up and shoot it. <laughs> just to <laughs> make sure you clean run. through it and, you know. Well, that's what I mean, without, like, going through oh, yeah, it one yeah. time. Just to load it and shoot it right now, it Fuck probably... No. Blow up in my hand. Yeah, be like that scene from Walking Dead last week. (laughs) Spoiler alert! (laughs) I haven't watched that in like five years now. Really? Yeah. Going to Terminus ruined it for me. Yeah. Like that whole trip down the train tracks and shit just wasn't for me. It was cool when they got there, but yeah, but yeah, the lead ups like boring as shit. Like the what is it? The lion now or whatever? The tigers? Whatever the fuck it is? Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, so that's how long it's been. (laughs) Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! (laughs) If you ain't watched it in five years, I ain't ruining nothing for uh, yeah, you. You're probably not, not like tuning in. Well, my wife, she reads all the comics, so she's like... That's mm. a lot of comics. Well, we buy the trade uh, paperbacks that has, like, fucking, like, seven or eight the comics. Condensed, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, we're, I think she's got, like, 30 of those. So what is it, like, six, seven, eight comics per? So Probably. Yeah. Whatever the math is. I'm not a mathematician real quick. <laughs> yeah. So. My degree is not in that. No. Negative. <laughs> He's still drawing them comics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah, TV yeah. show is going to go on forever. It's a gold mine. Would you, know? you stop yeah. fucking... Fuck, no. no He's me. printing his own money. Yeah. Basically. He's like, and then Spider-Man comes in. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Rightfully now. so. The zombies cannot read your minds. Bum, bum, bum. What's up, dude? Chapter 316. It's going down. Turns out it was Rick's dog's dream. Yeah. Who fucking knows? Plot twist. Got him. But they finally killed Carl. Oh, nice. So, Thank God. Spoiler. Thank you for that. Oh, I don't even want to put a spoiler in there. I want everyone to know. Yeah, he's gone. A little creep. That's good. Because it's weird. Because I think in the comics, he's the one. I think Rick dies. And like Car- like the story follows Carl through all these. Oh, really? Years and shit. Yeah, I, I think Wait. so. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Like, uh, Rick's the one who loses a hand. Right, yeah. I remember that. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. I think he does end up dying. Yeah. Huh. I know the one character they won't kill is uh, Daryl. Yeah, he yeah. ain't going nowhere. That guy's way too fucking popular. Does the TV <laughs> show go forever? Do you think it goes forever? forever? No, no. It, I mean, what will happen is they'll start following a new group. Yeah. How like, many How many seasons is there now? They just finished eight. seven or eight. Seven or eight. Is yeah, one or two. Seven to eight. I think seven. It'll It'll hit. It'll, I think in my mind twelve. But by then, like, Fear of the Walking Dead, and then there's going to be another one. I don't know. Because hmm. eventually they got to kill off some of the main characters. Like, get Rick out of there. Yeah. And then they'll start following, like, Maggie. And then new people will come up. Jesus might split off. Who knows? Yeah. It's wild. Oh, it's a great <laughs> show. My mind's blown right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you watch? Been, Anything? Uh, you make Roseanne? Time? Oh, well. Oh, the new go. one? Yeah, the yeah. new Roseanne. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Huh. Good, I like it. They poke fun at everybody, so it doesn't even matter, you know. They sure do. Everybody's fair game. Panties were all in a bunch when that <laughs> came out. So. <laughs> uh, shit, I don't know what else I watch. Office. Yeah, I just. I mean, that usually again. that. Yeah. yeah, I've watched it like ten times all the way through already. Yeah. So. It's but at this point, you find like little things now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh wow, he was wearing sweatpants in that scene. I didn't notice. I did read what's his name. The guy that played Jim is uh, really he... pressing for a uh, like bring it back. Yeah. yeah. Well, NBC or I think it was NBC, whatever they were on. Yeah. They're doing some sort of reboot, oh. but they don't know to what degree if they're just going to bring back new a characters. Few... And yeah, they're going to have new characters, oh. but they're going to bring back a few old ones, or if it's just bringing back everybody. And seeing where they are now. It should be like Dwight's new job. Yeah. Oh. And then who works for him, you know? <laughs> like make him the Michael like, Scott from the Shrute beginning. and Shrute, where it's yeah. him and Moe's. Yeah. <laughs> he was the boss at the end, so. <laughs> yeah. Possible. And he owned the building. <laughs> and he owned the building. Yeah, weren't they going to like sue him or something? Or they were, Pam was messing with him about yeah, I didn't watch were, the end of it. They were going to buy, or they were going to move the office. The lease was up, or at least was coming. Okay. And uh, they're gonna find a new place because he kept fucking with him. Like, 
splitting the toilet paper into single ply, uh, <laughs> doing uh, motion sensor lighting. So while they're all sitting there on the computer, it would just go dark and people would have to jump. Put its bug ads on the side of the building. Yeah, big old tarp that took up like a, a whole side. That was a great show. It, it was a great, great show. show. Did you ever watch the English version? Yeah, I tried. Tried. Yeah. Didn't, same. Didn't make it through. Just no. couldn't do it. No. Couldn't do it. I didn't. Got about three episodes in and it was yeah. Yeah. Wrap, wrapped up. I started watching The Hundred. That's the only thing I'm watching okay. now. The Hundred. Uh, Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's not bad. Whatever. I uh, recently watched uh, A Quiet Place with uh, Jim from The Office. Yeah. He directed it, too. Yeah, he bought that script. Yeah? Yeah, I guess whoever owned it before was, like, shelving it for some reason. They couldn't find the right way to put it out or whatever. And it was good. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody's saying it's a good movie. Like, they talk I maybe four it. times throughout the movie, Yeah, and the rest is just, like, sign language you got to read. But it's hmm. all, like, physical acting. Oh, they knocked it out of the park on that. Is it, what is it, spoiler alert, what, what is it, like demons, or are they aliens, or what are they? Uh, in the beginning it says like a meteor crashed, okay. so I'm assuming it's some form of alien okay. thing. That's good. But, <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I don't need too many details. You but it, you get caught up in the story real quick. It gets you, and you're just like, oh shit, you get invested. Does it say how long they've lived in silence? Yes. They have uh, so many days. Okay. From first contact, it'll come up at like day eighty nine, day three hundred and twelve. Okay, so the kids are already born. Though they, they have they have kids in the movie. Yeah, they have right? kids okay. in the movie. I'm just thinking, like, how does a woman go through childbirth and complete silence? <laughs> you know, it's a great question. I would recommend watching the movie. If okay, you get a chance. <laughs> Again, DVD. Here I come. Was That's it right. straight to DVD movie or? No, it's no, in it's theaters, in theaters right now. Yeah, Oh, is it? It's yeah. fucking oh, no shit. making yeah. a killing right now. Dude. I don't really watch Michael Bay TV. was a producer. Yeah. I didn't know that uh, Krasinski directed it until watching the credits of the movie. I was like, oh, no shit. Good for him. He was a producer. Michael Bay was an associate producer. I was like, oh, look at him. Hmm. Making moves. And the chick in the movie is his wife in real life, Emily Blunt. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, shit. There's not a lot of overhead in that. No. <laughs> and, uh, Calling in a favor, babe. One of the kids is actually deaf in real life. Oh, shit. So, it's like... It's like cheaper than Clerks. <laughs> <laughs> Probably never, not. Never even heard of this movie before. It just came out. Like yeah, it's like two, two or weeks. three weeks old. Yeah. Oh, right now. Yeah. No, it's really good. Recommend it. I've seen the previews and the, the commercials and stuff, but... I'm go to the theater. Yeah. With kids, it's got to be a G-rated movie. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Number one, it's probably Lego related, <laughs> you know, or a Pixar joint, or a Pixar. Yep, for sure. I can't remember the last time we went to the movies without the kids. Shit. <laughs> Early two thousands. Yeah, right. Way back when it was still cool yeah. and not as expensive. I think Clerks Two just came out. It's <laughs> a good one. It was. Too bad it didn't hold up in the brackets. Oh, no. Not a lot has held up in the brackets, at least what I predicted would. No. Getting pretty disappointed, folks. I'm not disappointed in the movies that are making it through. No, they're good movies. I'm a little I'm surprised, though. My picks are all shot except for one, and right now it's not looking too good. I know, good. right? Dazed and confused. Who would have thought? Airplane. <sighs> Airplane got... I got to go and watch that movie again, being an adult. Since the yeah. last time I seen it, I was like <laughs> eleven or twelve or something like that. Like, what are all these people voting you know, for this movie? For? Probably great. Look at all the jokes I missed. Yeah. It has uh, what's his name from Naked Guns in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Love the Naked Gun movies. Yeah, <laughs> those were good. Great. The thirty-three and a third, I think, was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. the stupid mo- like the stupid, uh, stupid, the stupid humor movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah them are like Hot Shots. Hot Shots dude. was a good one. Yeah. Scary movie. Those were all good. Yeah. yeah. Was that on the bracket? Scary movie? No, it didn't no? make it. It was no. in the list, it but it didn't cut. make it. Nope. Nope. Oh, we definitely have enough for another uh, comedy movie bracket, if need be. Probably two. Easily. I've been adding movies. Yeah, because there's a lot that we missed originally. Yeah. Yep. People were super salty about certain movies not making it on. Oh, there. very. They yeah. voiced their opinion. Were, yes. Yeah. What the uh, Rick said, if old school's not in it, none oh, of it yeah. counts. He ain't voting. <laughs> I ain't voting shit. He'll hear that. 
It's been fun though. We're it, wrapping up, dude. This time next week, it'll be over. Yeah, this is true. It will be said and done. Super Troopers will get their crown. Or Dazed and Confused. That's the final? Super Troopers, Dazed and Confused? No. No, no, no. Super Troopers is beating Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. That's like the final? Votes. That's no, the that's final. the no, one we, final we have, four. Uh, oh, right. The other right. one is... Uh, Grandma's Boy versus Dazed and Confused. And right now, as I'm talking, they're tied with 40, what, 24 apiece. Mm-hmm. And the other bracket is uh, Dumb and Dumber and Super Troopers. And Super Troopers is barely in the lead right them are, now. Them are tough decisions, though. Oh, it only gets harder you and harder pick and harder. One. Yep. Yeah, some of those were tough matchups. Sitting around looking at it like shit, dude. How do you how do you pick? You know. It was exciting yeah. on my was, end of no, it. It was, it, was good. it was cool to yeah. watch. Oh yeah, it's cool to see the people interacting with it. Yeah. <laughs> the majority of the comments that we get on any of them are gifts, mm-hmm. which is always entertaining. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> A gift says so much. It does. It can say so many different things. You, know? <laughs> you took the time to search it out. Right. Get the You're right thinking one. thinking of us. Aww. I wonder if bubblegum taco is going to be a fucking gift soon. <laughs> <laughs> if I have anything to say about it, yeah. it will. <laughs> like, do people make Ooh. those? Like, well, bubblegum tacos. <laughs> well, <laughs> people do make those, but... Uh, uh, like gifts. Like, oh, how you, the yeah, fuck... Yeah. There's like, websites where you can... Just make your own make shit? Make your own shit. I don't need to know what the website is. You probably I'll, do. I'll probably have all types of wild ass shit. Going I mean, on if there. you have the free time, you might yeah, as well invest yeah. it, right? You can start your own uh, website. Just gifts. It could be bubblegum taco. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Boom. Or dot uh, organization dot org. Whatever. You can get fun with yeah, it. Yeah, whatever whatever's you cheaper. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's, that's how I look at it. Whatever gets me by. Just start an Instagram page. That'll work too. Yeah. You can do that. Be frowned upon by Instagram. Okay. Can you do nudity on Instagram? Just get the uh, mature hmm. content thing. If there is, I haven't found it yet. I haven't either. <laughs> what? The nudity I've seen on a, Instagram. A Pornhub Twitter, which <laughs> had like all types of like movie clips and stuff. Like I think. Really? Yeah. I mean, it didn't have to, like the blue check next to it or anything, but. Oh, well. <laughs> it was official as far as I was concerned. Right. Yeah, I'm there. I'm watching. I'm in. Was there any gun videos? I don't know. I didn't even look. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Probably not. That'd be you, the, you heard about that, how the uh, YouTube channels. I did, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Censorship is neat. It's all going to start ironing back out the other way soon, though. Oh, it has. Did you, guys, think, you guys were talking about, like, gun uh, gun hub or gun tube or whatever. Was not Was that you guys talking yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was when Tony was here. Yeah. He brought it up. Yeah. yeah. Make I billions. don't know. Hey, dude. You can make billions. Why not? Why the fuck not? Hey. One of two things is going to happen. They're going to shut the internet down or things are going to swing back the other way. You know? Like, it went left for a long time. Really yeah. heavy. It's got to come back the other way. It has to. I just read that the uh, FCC approved uh, Elon Musk to shoot up, like, something just under 5,000 satellites. So he wants to make it to where uh, there's affordable Wi-Fi throughout the world hmm. and then in the uh, column they were talking about Facebook is looking into doing something similar and a couple other big companies but they would do it more for like data mining so <laughs> get all your info shit Facebook was fucking following and researching people who aren't signed up for Facebook really oh yeah shit during the congressional hearing that came up and it was funny because one of the, however was it, 55 congressmen or whoever it were, they were grilling him. Yeah. He donated to like 52. Yeah. So like. He spent like three days before the hearings walking to all their offices and having meetings oh yeah. with them all and shit. That dude looks like a fucking robot. Some good Zuckerberg gifts. Oh, God. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. oh, with the booster seat With the booster too. seat oh, or him great. drinking the water. The water. Did you see that one? Yeah. Great. <laughs> I put that on a couple people's page. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. That was funny. Fuck him. Yeah. He's so rich, though. It doesn't even oh, matter. I know. It doesn't even matter what you say about him. They all are. Yeah, they are. Everybody in that industry is making all kinds of money. I just need a little bit. Just throw me a little bit. <laughs> right. I'm not being picky. <laughs> no. I just need a little bit. We're not talking millions here. We're just no, no. A few thousand. We're fine. Catch things up. 
We could always go into the music industry. It's true. You know. We could. Start signing bands like Clowncore. They're probably they're already signed. Put them out on tour. No, like them, though. We could, oh, yeah. you know, shoot, let's start our own band like that. Uh, I was thinking that, too, actually. Really? It's like, dude, these guys can make... Just get a little Casio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, I don't even play an instrument, and we could probably sound just as good. Probably. Oh, easily. I mean, them yeah. guys got some talent, but for the most part, it's like just nonsense like i stumbled across their <laughs> youtube channel and it's like <laughs> amazing amazing yes but there was like a couple <laughs> songs where it's like jesus christ these guys aren't even trying no to sing it's just one and, note he's yeah. just holding it you know 30 seconds the dick note the dick <laughs> note it's so good it's the one dick note yep it's good the dick note.com did we ever find yeah. out where they're from i don't think so no we gotta find that out I want to know. I'll make a note. It's got to be a West Coast thing, but... Possible. I think, I think it might be, like, two super famous-ass people. Like, it might be, like, <laughs> Dave Grohl and... Brad Pitt. Right, Brad Pitt <laughs> made a band, and it's Clown Core. <laughs> be sweet. Oh, shit. The true identity. It could be the guy from Slipknot, maybe, right? Yeah. The guy in the clown mask dicking around with one of his buddies or something? I don't no. know. If you watch any videos, dude, they're, like, super... Skinny. I don't yeah, know. that's true. Weird. There's two of them and yeah. equipment in a Porta John, so it's not like they're the biggest of guys. Yeah, handicap Porta John. <laughs> a little extra space. <laughs> a little extra space. <laughs> Fit my drums in here. It's good. They sh- everybody should look them up. They're probably Russian. They make the weirdest <laughs> fucking videos. <laughs> On iTunes, they're like you get like uh, you know like genre of music like metal, rock and roll, or whatever. In one of their uh, albums, it says "child's music" <laughs> <laughs> for clowncore. Oh, for clowncore, yeah, <laughs> that's like horrible. They, like that's what they put it as, you know. Some of them, their song titles are ridiculous, like "Scheduled Diarrhea," you know, stuff like that. <laughs> oh, you catch your twelve-year-old listening to that. <laughs> I found it on iTunes. It could be a lot worse, it right? Under the I safe so. search, you know. Yeah. I don't understand what they're guys. saying. No. So I'm sure no. they don't. I'm sure, I'm sure Clowncore don't even know what the hell they're saying. It's just mumbles. Nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you that YouTube. Their YouTube channel is like the one like the one song. I don't even know what the name of it is, but it's just like the worst singing I've ever heard. Like I've heard better singing at fucking Rick's halftime karaoke on a Friday night <laughs> than <laughs> this shit, you know. It's like I can't hear family tradition from Rick's <laughs> halftime karaoke. Anymore? No, no, not just at all. a worn it thin, right? Just beat the shit out of it. I worked with a guy at Jets that was uh, he had the same feeling about uh, Bon Jovi wanted dead or alive. Oh, the uh, Young Gun song, you know. Yeah. Every time it would come on, he would cringe. Like literally, he would just turn get it like, off. oh, you know, turn it off. Yeah. Do you guys do you have a song that you hear and you're just like, fuck this song? I have bands. Yeah. Like U uh, two and U uh, two's a good one. <laughs> if they come on the radio, I just turn it. And uh, what's the other fucking band? Dave Matthews. They're on there. Yeah. Uh, Top five shitty Pearl bands. Jam. Pearl Jam's on. That's there. a yeah. good list. We should start that list. Shitty bands. It's just once they come on. <laughs> nope. I don't care what the fuck's on the other. You know, channel. it got for uh, for me. It got to be with Godsmack. I just couldn't do it. But then this new song that comes out, I, like I find myself listening yeah. to it and enjoying it. It's well, really surprising weird. you like Nickelback so much. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, a long time ago. Like I was listening to the radio <laughs> and I'm, think, I'm sitting there thinking, how many? There's only like three good Metallica songs that we can listen to, or there's only like four good Bob Seger songs. Like they uh, only Bob play. Bob Seger has more. No, no, he does. But like the radio stations only, only play, play yeah yeah like the same the fucking rated. four oh, yeah. Bob Seger well, songs. The radio ever. stations fucking suck. They are the worst. If you get in like any popular fucking stations where it just plays the same four songs and then in between like them fucking like trying to do little skits and shit. Yeah. The only time I listen to radio is in the car with the family, and it's country, Ugh. or the troll soundtrack. <laughs> 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 That's it. Hey, fuck it. Yeah. I'd almost rather listen to Troll soundtrack. It's just like 12 songs of Justin Timberlake singing. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Fucking even the satellite stations. Same the, shit? Oh, yeah. I mean, you get more selection, but it's like 
20 songs that are constantly rotated and like three that are shot in between them. No commercials, just 20 shit. They say songs. no commercials, but it's all commercials for either other channels on the satellite station or it's like, oh, next Tuesday we're going to have a thing that we always have on Tuesdays. And you're like, just play more fucking music. That's it. That's all we want. Different music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk radio and Spotify, my friend. Yeah, talk that's radio. Podcast. And podcast. Fucking yeah. podcast. Yeah. yeah. That's where it's at. I can't get in any other podcast. Like no? I tried. Well, thank you for getting into ours. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Appreciate that. Like I tried to watch like or listen to like fantasy football ones, mm. shit like that. Doesn't doesn't do it for me. It it can get rough if you're not in the mindset. Yeah. You know, like if you were in the middle of fantasy football season, you might be able yeah. to pop on an episode and play statistics while they're talking about them. Maybe, but See what's relevant shit that you may not have heard of like throughout the weeks. Like, oh, maybe I should look into picking up that guy. Yeah, Joe Rogan's is good. Yeah, if you can get, I watch it on you. I watch his YouTube channel. I prefer watching the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and uh, listening to the podcast. He gets some good guests, but they're like fucking lined up for months to go on his shit. You know, he's getting three to five. It doesn't hurt that he's also famous. Right. Be like, hey, (laughs) excuse me. Send you a message on Twitter. Want to be on my podcast? Maybe one day for you guys, huh? Baby steps. Jeez. Baby steps. That'd be sweet. He's up into like the thousands and shit, isn't he? Like his podcast. Oh, he gets, like, like, oh, he gets millions of views. No, no, no. I'm saying like episode oh, like, yeah. 1200 yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. he just do it all week? I think twice a week. Yeah, it varies. Yeah. I think he goes on the guest schedule. You know, True. oh, so and so can come in Thursday. We'll do the show yeah. Thursday. Yeah. He also might you have know? like a day dedicated and have like three people come in and he just does that all day. Yeah. And then like sporadically releases them throughout the week after they're edited and all that fun shit. Did you ever see the one with uh, Alex Jones? I did. Oh, that was great. He got hammered and shit. Yeah, and started, he yeah, got Alex nuts. Jones fucked up on his show, like, really <laughs> quickly, and then just rambled for, like, two hours about, you know, government aliens. Everything. and oh, oh, yeah, it was Turning great. the frogs gay. Yep. That would be a good, <laughs> uh, the three people that you'd like to meet with. Yeah. Alex Jones would be on that list for me. Really? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. That'd be sweet. He's got all types of wild shit to say, doesn't he? That's true. I hope. I hope it's not an act. Like, you know, like, yeah. part of me maybe thinks, he's like, been maybe doing guys... It. Just, he's just been doing it for so long now. It's just second nature. Just, he just you know, he turns it on. Shit if now. it is an act, <laughs> the fact that, like, almost everyone's heard of him, it's working out for him. You know, there was a time not too long ago where I saw an InfoWars sticker on a co-worker's car. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is that shit? Oh, yeah, I remember. That was the first time I ever heard of it. Who is Alex Jones, and what are you looking at? What are you listening to? And then I started listening to it. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe this guy's on something. Not terrible. <laughs> I was reading a post on Reddit. Somebody was talking shit. Like, fuck Alex Jones. Blah, 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 blah. And the next comment was like, yeah, it kind of fucks me up that like he's 75% right all the time. <laughs> all the time. You know, <laughs> like, he's, It's like he's all close. the crazy ones he's wrong on, but the ones that are semi-crazy, he's like spot on. He's like a modern day. Uh... He just has the right connections, I would assume. That could be it. Or he can see the future. <laughs> Watch out. He is the future. Maybe. Alex he came Jones back is. from the future. That's right. His real name is John Titor. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck here. Fucking, I'm starting a podcast. <laughs> hmm. Fucking. I want to let another cigarette. Yeah. Damn it. Let the chain smoking begin. I mean, you can't be too <laughs> displeased with yourself. It just happens. I'm not. Just go for it. Fuck it. I've been smoking too long to not chain smoke. That's true. 35. I've been smoking for uh, 23 years. Long time. You were one of them itty-bitty smokers, huh? Started when I was 12. Woo! Started when I was 11. I'm not a mathematician, (laughs) but... Hey. How was your guys' 420? Yeah? Oh, I'm I'm not a... uh... One that celebrates that oh, holiday. Oh, right on. You? Mine was fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was good. Just as what a, I remember. It was the same as 419 yeah. <laughs> and 18. 18 and so forth. <laughs> yep. Uh, I seen a thing on Instagram today. It was like, don't feel bad if you missed 420. Just celebrate on 422 because it's, it's 422. <laughs> <laughs> My dad said somebody uh, something about Cheech and Chong got like awarded some kind of Lifetime Achievement Award yeah, for like something. High Times or something. Is shit. that what it was? I don't know. I'm oh, just guessing. it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't they get one? Yeah, right. Why wouldn't they have already gotten one you would, would be think. my yeah. question. But 
probably multiple. They've been nominated multiple times yeah. for the High Times. This is their tenth award for it a lifetime achievement. It should be just called the Cheech and Chong Award you at this point, be right? The smart I mean, thing who's? To do. It might even be called that. I don't know who's got them beat at this point. Nobody. Yeah, Willie, I can't Willie really Nelson, maybe. Maybe. Maybe uh, Willie. Snoop. Snoop Dogg. Snoop. The I don't know. It's a very elite list. <laughs> <laughs> what if you got them all together? Do you think that's happened? There's some sort of like board of directors. <laughs> they have like a yearly meeting. People a think there's a forest meeting. fire, but it's just them hanging out. Then Cheech started doing like NCIS and shit, and he kind of took a step back from all that. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he straightened out quite a bit. Tommy Chong was going to prison, and Cheech was fucking. <laughs> going to prison and doing that 70s recording show. Recording ABC shows and shit. <laughs> The one I remember is uh, when he when Cheech was in uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Yeah, that was a classic. It's the hype shit. man in front of the yep. Bordello. Yep, that was good shit. I think he did a cartoon voice over too. Probably. I can't remember. I'm trying to think. I know Robert Rodriguez puts him in almost every movie he makes. Yeah, he has usually the same rotating people that he puts in. They'll just pop up sporadically in the background, or there'll be a. Supporting character. The wife's been rewatching uh, Criminal Minds. I didn't realize there was like twenty episodes per season, twenty seasons. You know, hour long Jeez. episodes. Uh, it just holy shit. I've never seen that show. No, it's no. not bad. Is it a running show? Like, yeah. Do you have to see like uh, certain episodes? You can't to, just like, jump into. If you want to know the characters on the team, you should probably watch some shit. But it's just a crime drama, right? You know. Plenty of stories. Yeah, you know, yeah. they just try stories. to figure out the killer. Whatever. <laughs> just like all the other ones, I guess. <laughs> Never got into them. Matlock, shit like that. Never <laughs> got into it. No. Murder, no. She wrote. Murder, yeah. She wrote. That wasn't my uh, cup of tea. Columbo, none of them. Columbo was pretty sweet. What was uh Kojak? Was that the other Kojak one? Kojak with the bald dude with the lollipop. <laughs> Chair fart. Shit in his pants. <laughs> Did it pick it up? Somebody needs to find out later. (laughs) (laughs) Tune in next week. Yeah, 37 minutes in, remember. (laughs) Tune in next week to find out if John shit himself or not. You know, first topic next week. So I bought new pants. Right. That'd be the first. I've never shit my pants. (laughs) (laughs) In your adult years. Yeah, true. I figured you ain't living life unless you shit your pants at least once as an adult. Now, if you shit in the bathtub, like while taking a shower, then you should feel pretty bad about yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Waffle stomp. <laughs> Push it all down. <laughs> Get on with your day. Uh, for it's those of you who don't know what exactly waffle stomping <laughs> is, you just hit that urban dictionary real quick. It'll change your life. I've never done it. I've never waffled stomped anything before. Me neither. Nope. Can't say I have. <laughs> Can't say I've uh, had the necessity of that. Shitting fresh out of the shower is the worst. Oh, uh, it's like you ruined your shower. Yeah. Got to get right back in. Yeah. <laughs> Shitting right before a shower, it's good business. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. I like to get down my socks, just my socks. In the when shower? Take, no, when I take shits. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, you never know. Shit can go personal everywhere. here now. All you, right. guys, you guys have had, well, so you have a kid. If you're yeah. in a porta shitter does this same process occur? No, those are quick. Those are quick dumps. <laughs> I do remember when, growing up, probably for like three years, when I go into public restrooms, when I took shit, I would wipe my ass, stick the paper on the wall, and then not flush. <laughs> Damn. It's like a sticky bandit type thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a good time. Poor McDonald's guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening. Like, that son of a bitch, I remember him. He had to clean shitty toilet paper off the wall then. I've walked into a uh, public bathroom and seen shit in a urinal. But not like they shit in the urinal. Like they threw it and it smacked against the back of the urinal. Wow. it's impressive. I mean, what possesses you to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> if you have a theory, keep it to I yourself. I don't have a theory. Shit. I was just you know, pissing a urinal. Then I was like, nope, I'll wait. That's the kind of action that, like, belongs in a hospital room somewhere, you know, heavily monitored. 
Or is it? <laughs> not, in, not out in public. If you're playing with feces, come on. Yeah. Like, you know, even if you're drunk. Like the dude in Philly, when they won oh, the Super Bowl, God, they ate the horse yeah. turd. Like, bro, you just ate a horse turd. It's gross. They What's did that on Jackass, too. Steve-O ate a horse turd with the 3-6 Mafia. Like a, like a piece of shit or something like that. I mean, jackass. So. I imagine he got paid for it. Oh, I'm yeah. sure he did. <laughs> that might change things just a little, a little bit, bit, but Steve O's rich. Have you do you, you follow him now? I haven't. No. Now that he's sober. Oh god, he's kinda, he's still doing stunts. He's kind of weird though. He's got a show coming out. He's been oh, recording stunts for yeah, like a special. Well, I know he's been doing uh, like since the last movie. He does like Facebook Live stuff and oh, Instagram yeah. and Twitter and like he'll actually I think he might even have a website where he does shows weekly. Yeah, he gets on there. He does his thing. All those guys are getting up there. Oh, age, oh man. Yeah. That, I, uh, uh, yeah, Knoxville, right? Yeah. When I went to see uh, A Quiet Place, one of the previews was uh, Action Point. Have you heard of that yet? I haven't. So it's uh, Johnny Knoxville, and it's like he's uh, dressed up in like the older man makeup and that. And he's telling, like, oh, back when I was younger, I owned an amusement park called Action Point. And it's pretty much just. A weak storyline and a bunch of fucking stunts on rickety old fucking uh, amusement park equipment. <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the listeners are going to get cheated. No, you guys had such no, a stack. No. Tony, Rob, he's a fucking globe trotter. <laughs> you know, I got no stories. I got no good stories. Oh no! See, you have stories. We yeah. just have to. We just have to dig them uh, out of you. Entice them out of you. Like you told us the one story about uh, walking through the parking lot at the mall. When we were teenagers, open cars. Was it you? No, that wasn't me. That, that was wasn't Tony. you. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that was Tony. What Tony about that one? No, that was Rob. Yep. <laughs> well, I just remember the story. That's yeah. All. No, it's a good one. I've never done. I've never done that. No. no. I've done a lot of shit. I've never done that either. Well, I know there was. Uh, Tony shared not stories, but the idea that you guys spent every weekend at Harpo's. Friday, Saturday. You know. And you have no stories. <sighs> It seems like some shit went down at Harpo's. <laughs> that I can remember. Oh, fair right. enough. <laughs> when was the last time you were at Harpo's? Has it been a while? or It has been a while. Yeah. Uh, shit. I seen Slipknot, volume three album, was the last time I was there. So when was that? Oh, wow. Yeah. Slipknot at Harpo's? Yeah, wow. Yeah, that had a couple been a times while ago. I've seen them. I mean, shit, they're selling out Pine Knob now. Yeah. Well, they were big. They just did like a little oh, okay. club thing, you know okay. what I'm saying? So hmm. I didn't I didn't get to see them when they were like brand new, when they were like it was still nuts when I seen them there. Yeah. But like when they first came there, like in ninety nine and shit, I guess like the wall, like one of the walls fell over onto the like the main oh, floor and shit. Harpo's was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. It wasn't the greatest venue. The twelve foot stage. <laughs> I always wish I would have jumped off of it. <clears throat> Good time. I know your neighbor got uh, on stage, and then they, like, bitch slapped him in the back for getting on the stage and shit. I'm like, damn, you got on that stage. is pretty impressive, dude. I fell asleep at Typo Negative. <laughs> it's another shitty band that... Well, if you fell asleep at it, that's pretty tough. Terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Well, you're going soon, right? Because Tony's doing yeah, the show. Yeah, I'm going to so go hit that up. Go yeah. for that. Yeah. I don't even know if they... Like, I check the website all the time. Not all the time. I used to check it all the time, but like often. Yeah, I there's nobody there now. Like I haven't seen like any big names or nothing. I I, I mean I don't even see shit well, like going at all. Maybe it's under like new construction or something. Yeah, maybe. You know? But I mean like remodeling you look at, or something. You look shit. at like their pictures, like the picture part of it is like O two. You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> oh, Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah. They don't really have a. Uh, I was there not that long ago. Curated. Oh, were you? Well, Year and a half. Yeah. What'd you see? Well, two years. Uh, ICP. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was where my, my first concert was, and I seen ICP and Guar. Ooh. I heard yeah. Guar's a good show. I've seen them at uh, Riot Fest in Chicago, but like in a small enclosed area would probably be pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, it's a good time. I've never seen them. I don't know if they still do the Halloween. They used to play like Devil's Night or Halloween there, yeah. like, every year, and yeah. yep. I don't know if they do it anymore. Well, a lot of them died in the last. I was going to say they've years, had a couple yeah. deaths yeah, in I don't the even, band, so and it's no usually way. like that was the main two or three that died too. Hmm. 
I know the uh, the five dollar hate breed show for the DVD was pretty cool. Like to be at, you know, it was only five bucks, so they crammed like a shit ton of two thousand yeah. more people in there than that should have been. <laughs> yeah. Tony's on the DVD in the pit and shit. Is you just got to keep an eye out for him. Yeah, yeah. Him and I live there. <laughs> the first time I bought beer from a bar, I was like fifteen or sixteen or something like that. Just people were like, "Man, we got to ask someone to buy us beers and shit." And I was like, "Wait, hold Fuck, on, I'll go up there yeah. and just try, dude." The worst they say is no. Right. And I came back with like three beers and shit. So I was like, hey, <laughs> you were now the guy. <laughs> let's do it. You know, let's get fucked up. Three dollar beers. So out of all the time you spent there, what's the show that stands out in your head? Oh man. Is there a show that stands out in your head? Probably the Hate Breed show was really good. Slayer, a couple, uh, Sla- like when wow. Jägermeister came through, like Slayer and Hate Breed. Mm. Like, it was insane. That's rowdy. Damn. People throwing bar stools at, like, the bar and shit, dude. It was fucking nuts. I imagine that was some of the tamer shit that happened at one of those oh, shows. Oh, sure. <sighs> Good times. I only seen a guard. I want to say that show had a guardrail in front of the stage with, like, security in front of that it. That makes sense. Which you, I mean, it's a 12-foot stage. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't but need it. Still, it's like you don't need it. Slayers a, brings a heavier crowd. Sure, it sure. It gets rowdy, it's yeah. It's good time, though. Yeah. Twenty dollar, or you know what else we used to go to a lot is like local bands. It'd be like forty local bands. Yeah, twenty bucks got you in the door, and it was like unlimited draft beer. Oh god! So yeah. it's like by like midnight, you're just like shit face drunk. By Easy. midnight, you've already been shit faced and yeah. sobered up. Seven, you know, only seventeen years old. Yeah, we played a couple of those shows back in the day. Yeah, those, yeah. Loved like it. 13 bands or some shit, you know. When are you guys playing? 5.30 to 5.45. <laughs> Just enough time to set up. Get there early. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool, though, being at Harpo's, playing the show there, you know. You play, You guys played Harpo's? We played there like two or three times, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember uh, back in the day, there was a band that was Guar-like. They dressed up like Guar and shit mm-hmm. like that, but they were like more heavier and... uh <laughs> <laughs> they were called Hate Work, and I seen oh, them like yeah, fucking yeah, I remember like that name. A hundred different times, dude. Yeah. yeah, they were good. I liked them. Like I had like a, I mean, I don't know. Like we your last show, like with local bands and shit. Like I don't even know anything. Like who's current. The lo- yeah, current local yeah. bands now. Like couldn't tell you. No, I know a couple just people that I know that are in the bands. Sure. But yeah. We talked about it last week where Chris was like, yeah. we keep, yeah. couldn't Can't even tell think of anything. You. Just been out of it for too long, I guess. Life. Yeah. You know. But you would think, like, you would hear rumblings of, like, if bands were, like, good local bands, they would have some sort of, like, Well, yeah, like, like I said, I Prevail. They're from Trenton. Yeah. You yeah. know, they're doing a big thing now, going on tours and making albums and shit. That, could, uh, could you name four more? Uh... <sighs> I did stumble across. I have this old toolbox and a subliminal criminal sticker. lighter sticker. Oh. <laughs> it's like you know, it goes to the side of the lighter and shit. Mm-hmm. It's like super faded and shit. I'll take a picture and send it over to you guys, dude. It's gonna be twenty years old <laughs> at least. At least that was Rob's dad. Well, put your stickers on lighters. Yeah, he'd buy like a hundred lighters for three bucks. You know, yeah, it's a great deal. Hand them out. <laughs> <laughs> Handing lighters to people. Hey, but they dug them. Oh yeah, yeah. It's shit. I'd take a free lighter. Mm. Chain smoking. That's right. <laughs> You're looking at me because I'm supposed to light one right now. That's what it digging. is. That was actually As about I'm digging to in my pocket. Yeah. Right, well, Peer if pressure. It's a, if it's a party, everybody's shit. grabbing one. Folks, this is the time of the show. If you are a smoker, join us, please. What's the coolest concert you guys ever been to? System of a Down and Deftones. Nice. John? I, was, I said this before. It was probably the first time I saw Deftones at Clutch Cargo's. December 5th, 1988. <laughs> I remember the date, dude. 1988? Or in 98. I was, was going to say, that's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. impressive. No, 98. I'm sorry. I remember that far back. I remember that date. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're the time traveler. Ooh. I had a good run for about four months. I seen uh, Tony and I went to Pledge of Allegiance. Which was System, Slipknot, Ramstein at Kobo. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Huge circle pit for Slipknot. Sweet as shit. Mm-hmm. Then like a like a month and a half after that, 
uh, I went with Tony again. <laughs> uh, we seen System at the State Theater with Clutch. Nice. And then I seen Slipknot at Harpo's like a month after that. Yeah, that's not a bad run. No, no. not at all. <laughs> Fuck no. My concerts are like one a year, you know, Yeah. if I'm lucky. I went and seen Clutch and Primus and was pretty let down by that. Oh, no, yeah. really? Yeah. Clutch didn't play long, and I'm not like a super huge Primus fan, so. And they got a couple songs where you're like, all right, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Did they play them while you were there? Or What's did you that? Leave first? The Primus song? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, they played, we only stayed for like three songs. Right. Like their stage show was cool, the lights were f- sweet as shit, but uh-huh. like. I just can't get into the music. Clutch played for like 40 minutes. Wow. Yeah. A bunch of new shit. It was a letdown, yeah. A couple new songs and some new shit. I seen Clutch at uh, Royal Oak uh, Music Theater once. They did a a double set, so it was like four and a half hours. Damn. Of Clutch. Like, it was so long, I had to go, like, sit in a balcony and shit. (laughs) Take a break. Oh, yeah. Short nap. It was intense. And it was just Clutch. (laughs) It was nobody else, just Clutch. No opener? Nope. Oh, uh... I, I can't remember what his name is. Someone helped me figure it out, but it was a dude that played a kick drum and a banjo. Just by himself. Half a clown core. Half a clown <laughs> <laughs> Possible. Cool concert, though. You know, I will say, every time I see Seven Dust is a good time. Yeah? They put on a good show. I've only seen the Deftones once. Really? Yeah. They put on a decent show. Yeah. It was like the White Pony Oh, that was oh, wow! Yeah, yeah. That was right Long when it was good ago, yeah. too. Yeah, been meaning this. I, they, I know they come through like every summer or every other summer. So Usually, like, yeah. Their venues are getting smaller. Yeah, they're getting to the end. I yeah. feel. Yeah, I mean, fuck, it's been twenty five years. You know, what are you and gonna they've do? They've been a great rough fucking run. Well, well, no, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, unless one of them breaks off and does like solo shit, like Jonathan Davis is, then you know, true. Never seen corn. Really? No. They used to put on a hell of a show. I don't know. I, the last time we saw them, they played the first album. That was a great night because it was at the State In Theater. In its entirety? Yeah, yeah everybody's yeah. starting to do that now. Right. That's like the popular thing now. Yeah. I'm waiting for Tool to do it. They're but, supposed to have new shit coming yeah, out. They, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I heard that uh, a couple weeks I ago. I've seen A Perfect Circle before, and it was fucking lame, you know? <laughs> the first time I, the only time I saw Tool, it was lame. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He, the dude, uh, Maynard, spent the yeah. whole concert behind, like, a white canvas covering. So you could only see, like, they had a light shining on it. Yeah. yeah. And that's all you could see. And every time he'd move, he'd go behind the drum set and then come back out. And that was it. Hmm. They're odd. No interaction. <laughs> no, not at all. Performance art. And he had, like, this prosthetic uh, titties nice. on his chest. It was fucking weird shit. Drugs will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ram Ramstein was cool. Oh, I would assume. Yeah. The guy like the fucking pyro and shit. It was dope. Yeah. Yeah. They have crazy ass fucking music videos too. You know, now that I think about it, Bloodhound Gang was probably one of the best times I ever had at a show. Those guys were fun. They like brought people up on stage and played pranks on them and shit. <laughs> right in the middle of the show, you know. Yeah, that was cool. That's cool. I don't think they make any music anymore. I think the uh, the dude that was in Wolfpack, I think they're still making music. Really? Yeah, the dude, I can't remember. I think he was in the Bloodhound Gang. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. That was Daddy his... Longlegs. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Daddy Longlegs. We played with Wolfpack. I, yeah, I was at that one. At the IROC. Yeah, there you go. Yep. They borrowed our smoke machine. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> our claim to fame. Yep. I remember we had like a, a Rob was like, guys, we got to talk. And he brought us all in. He's like, they want to borrow our smoke machine. And I let him. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. It's not really a talk then. Yeah. <laughs> like, Are you just bragging? Just make sure you get it back, I guess. Just happen. Yep. What would be your uh, dream show to go to? How many bands do I get to put on the bill? Three. Three bands? That's it. Wow. I'm probably going to have Foo Fighters headline just because they play for three hours. <laughs> and that's a great time. It's a good time. Um, I probably put Deftones on, just because I'm a huge fan, mm-hmm. and then uh, maybe Dropkick Murphys. That'd be a good show. Yeah. Like bands that are together, or just just name it. Band. Yeah, fucking name oh, it. Oh well, shit. Yeah, that changes things. 
Rage. I would have Rage, rage on my. Yeah. Head. I had That's, tickets. I've never seen them. I had tickets to Rage Beasties, and then Mike oh, D wow. broke his leg. Oh. And they canceled the tour. Oh, and then no Rage shit. broke up. <laughs> I was supposed to go when they played so Kobo pissed. with Wu Tang. Yeah. And Damn. I got I got bailed out on that. Wu Tang's doing a show here soon around here. I think they just played four uh four twenty at uh in Ann Arbor or something like that. That would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> but it was some like, shit like that. Yeah. I seen a billboard on ninety four. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> they gotta get back together. It'll never happen. I know. I did see Profits of Rage. Yeah. It was a good show. I don't know. It was all right, you know. Chuck D's not very good when it comes to uh, rage lyrics. He's too slow. Hmm. Like, he doesn't keep up with the pace of the song, you know? But be real, he fucking hits it. He's good at it. Just seems like a sham, you know? Yeah, well, it was kind of, there was a minute there where Tom Morello was on the guitar and he got on the mic and he started talking politics because oh, it was yeah. like right before the election, you know? Ruined. And like, oh, I don't want to yeah, hear this, ruined. dude. Just play music. Don't do this. I'm real picky now. I don't want to go see bands that are going to talk no, politics. No. I can do that on my own, you know. Like, the wife wants to go see uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. Oh, mm. good luck. I'll listen to Jared Leto tell me for a fucking half hour how bad of a person I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I hear their shows are sweet, though. They're a great band live. Yeah. When they play the music, yeah. They're great live. Someone I know just seen Imagine Imaginary Dragons or whatever. Imagine Dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said their shit was off the hook. Really? Like even if you don't like the music, the show is good. Their music isn't mm. bad. Yeah. I always wondered if uh Smashing Pumpkins would have been cool to see. I think they're coming back. Really? Or are I have heard already they're in talks. or yeah. I know uh Billy Corgan does a lot of like smaller private like one on acoustic events. But uh I heard they're in like talks for a new uh album yeah the shows would have been kind of weird <laughs> seems to me you know yeah they were just one of them weird bands manson back in the day would have been sweet that would have been crazy he's coming with rob zombie yeah i want to see rob zombie before he stops i've seen him i've heard he's sweet yeah that's a good show yeah i saw him with corn you know 20 years ago but i'm sure still not a good much show has, <laughs> much has changed with him probably not it's good this is a final year for warp tour is it? As a traveling, yeah. I've never been to one. I, I went to one. I. Really? Yeah. It was pretty cool. Dropkick Murphy. They had like two stages left yeah. and right. Dropkick Murphy's were on one stage, and then Rancid was like five minutes after Dropkick stop, which I'm not a huge punk guy, but it was pretty That's cool. Still good yeah. yeah. Still cool to see. Yeah. Shit. I mean, you're seeing a, you know, a bunch of different people go to see the same shit or whatever, so it was pretty cool. Oh. I was more interested in like the smaller stages with like, the littler band. Yeah. Know? Yeah. That was when I saw Slipknot the first time was uh, Tattoo the Earth. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And it was like Slayer was a headliner. Um, it was the first time I saw Mudvayne. That was, I got my ass handed to me in the pit for that one, dude. <laughs> seen, seen them at Harpo's? Yeah. Yeah. LD50 album was, that was a great, when they were good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah, man. Some of their new shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Some of their new shit was all right. Yeah. I don't know. Do you like Hell Yeah. Mm, not a huge fan. No. It's like Damage Plan should have been better with Dimebag and Vinny right. Paul, but I don't know. Just couldn't get into it. I tend to drift to the more extreme stuff, music-wise. You, you know? do, yeah. You you have like a Chris Lloyd to <laughs> you when it comes to music. You're yeah. always talking about some weird shit. And then like as soon as you're done with all the weird shit, you're like, yeah, listen to like three Prince albums. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, what the hell? Johnny Mathis is my man, dude. <laughs> I love Johnny. Some my grandma got playlists. me hooked. My grandma got me hooked on Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought he's coming actually, but he's like eighty six. Oh, so he's old, yeah. How fun is that gonna be, you know? Someone's working him like a puppet on top of the stage or something. It like could that. be really fun actually. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know who he'll bring out. <laughs> I guarantee you he'll have other people. Or at least other famous people will come show up. Possible. If not, you'll be at the last one. Yeah. <laughs> There's always <laughs> that got chance. got two Michigan shows, which I didn't even think he did tours, period. Right. But I got to like <laughs> travel to like the Indiana-Michigan border yeah. to see him and shit. Like, it's like a county fair or something? <laughs> I don't know what it is, dude. I think one's at like a casino. The casinos oh, usually go. have yeah. a bigger uh, output of, not like, I want to say old, outdated, or Smaller people who have yeah. the following, but like they usually get a good lineup. That's like Mellencamp. He plays casinos now. 
You know, oh, when he goes yeah. out. Yeah. Johnny Cougar. I'd like to see him. I've never seen him before. I, th- I thought B.B. Cool. King would have been cool to see. Oh, yeah. He always did, like, you always see him on, like, uh, what's that? Casino Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. Yeah. yeah. Roaring Eagle Casino or Soaring. something like that. <laughs> Soaring, Eagle. Soaring Eagle. Roaring yeah. Eagle. <laughs> Fire Keepers, whatever. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. <laughs> Not a huge casino guy, neither. I haven't been to a casino in a long time. Just don't like gambling? Nah. No? I don't like giving other people my money, you know? Not for not like that, at least. Unless it's a gun range. <laughs> 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 or Harpo's. <laughs> or Harpo's. Harpo's was cheap, though. You yeah, know, right. You get a $20 ticket and take 20 bucks with you and get hammered drunk. I'm looking forward to that show. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. I haven't been there in a really long time, so. So we got to get you on camera walking through the door. Mm, as is, all the is it still nostalgia. the same? Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing smells changes. Like, it smells yep. like urine. Yep. Um, Cigarette butts everywhere. When we walked in, I forgot I had my pocket knife, and the guy's like, yeah, just put it in the basket with all the other ones. It's overflowing. <laughs> it was. It was like 13 pocket knives in the basket. I'm like, oh, shit. Luckily, it was still there when we left. Back, yeah. Man. Can I get my knife? Yeah, it's in the basket. Make sure you get yours. There were people running around naked. It was crazy, what? dude. Last time, when I'm telling you, it was like the wild, wild west. <laughs> I was so freaked out by what was going on around me. Maybe it's always been that way. We just were younger and just too didn't drunk give to a notice. Shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't remember it being quite like that. I don't. Not like what I experienced that night. That was wild. Go check it out. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's different next time I go there. What what did you go see there? ICP. Oh yeah, wow. Well. So I mean the environment was definitely amped yeah. up cuz the 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 thing that really got me was they were checking IDs at the door, right? And half the people in line had their faces painted. Yeah. And I'm like, the fuck are you looking at their ID for? Just give them you, a wristband. Yeah, yeah, do you even it's not them. <laughs> it, you know who knows. <laughs> Good point. I can't believe they're still doing music. Yeah, right. <laughs> People love them. They got a little cult following. It's not little. Still. I, I apologize. It they sell out a campground for like a weekend oh, yeah, every for like year. The convention. Yeah. 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 It's ridiculous. They got like a games con now and shit. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a big deal. You guys got to be rich. I think I've only heard like two of their songs and it did nothing. It was, <laughs> it was not impressive to me. It was literally a cult following. Like, you had to be into it, you know? Yeah. Mid 90s around here, it was that was what everybody was dog listening beats. to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Local music. I remember I met a guy at work, one job that I had amongst many where he, he knew them. He talked about them personally back in high school, you know? He's like, this is what they talked about doing, and they're fucking doing it. Like, hey, cool. I think, the, dream, I think the neighbor. Knows a woman that works with one of their wives or some shit like that. Oh, really? Yeah, she's oh, like a shit. registered nurse and or, uh, does kind of, like promotions for them or some What does your husband shit. do? Well, he's in a band. Rob actually worked at their record label oh, printing really? shirts and shit for a minute. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he told me uh, this was fuck, years five, ago. six years ago, you know, but he's like, yeah, I got this job, Psychopathic Records. Like, what'd you just say to me? <laughs> Nonchalant. I think this was right after we tried to get a job and Carlini was doing some kind of website thing. We drove out and I don't remember what it was. It's weird. It's way too long ago. That's for yeah. damn sure. Shit. I was just thinking who's that old who used to be the old dude on the riff? <coughs> Arthur P or Arthur whatever. P. Arthur yeah. P. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Howell or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Shit, he hasn't been on the radio for Fifteen years, ten years, ten years at least. Yeah. When I went to Specs Howard for like a month, <laughs> one of the teachers uh, was the guy that started the riff. Really, he hired Arthur Penhollow. Yeah, he was wow. like, "So I got credentials." Like, yeah, you <laughs> yeah. do, motherfucker. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, kid. I didn't know Howard Stern worked in Detroit. Have you guys watched Private Parts? Yeah, in a long time. Yeah. Was oh, that's, for, that was the country time. station he worked for. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like rock and roll, and then they switched, and he was like, fuck it, I'm yeah. out. It was like a couple months into uh, really? working there, they switched to country, and he's like, what the fuck? 
Does he still do his radio show? Yeah. Oh, does he? he? Does, uh, XM, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Or one Sirius of the XM. Sirius. It's all the yeah. same but now. He makes yeah. like a, his contract was for half a billion dollars Jesus for however long Christ. it was. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> right. It's like the longest running podcast you know, ever. I listen to him. I got it in, in uh, my new car because it comes for free. For so the gonna, first year. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for, no. for radio, so... Is his shit still good? It's funny. It's is still it? funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He keeps current. <laughs> Does he have the same people? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I don't know if all of them. He usually has a rotating. Some people. Yeah. Replaced. I mean, some it's new like people. Him, Robin, I think, still okay. there. Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey. Yeah, he's still there. Is Artie Lang still come by? No, he quit from uh, Howard Show a while back. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's back on it or not. But hmm. I think it's still. F- Howard, Fred, and Robin, so... Yeah. Been the same people for 30 years. That's crazy. Easy. To think that what he did on FM radio and got away with, you know... Yeah. And led the way for other people to do oh, yeah. different things. It's like, I was always a Drew and Mike fan. I didn't listen to Howard Stern. I listened to no. Drew and Mike if I was up that early in the morning, so... They had they had a great show. hmm Drew and Mike. I think... Uh, Drew does like some podcast. Shit oh yeah, too, yeah. So. it's Drew and Mike podcast. Oh, is it yeah. Drew? And, it's in his basement. They're back together yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Mike's not on the show. It's Drew and Mark. Mark, there Mark Fellow Howard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, Trudy Daniels is on quite a bit. Oh, is she? Tom Mazaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All them guys were on ninety-seven-one. Remember when I had their own? Ninety-seven-one uh, was like it's sports talk radio. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Mike, or wait, which one? Which the short fat guy? That's Mike, right? Mike Clark? Yeah. I yeah, Drew that. had Sports Talk Radio with all those people that you just said. It was 1051. Was it? Oh yeah, yeah it was. They 105. started their own. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, basically right. started that's that right. station, right. yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <coughs> now it's 90s hip hop jams. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For a yeah. while though, it was like commercial free, which was nice. Yeah. So you can listen to Tupac and Biggie for 4 hours without, you know. <laughs> Slide an Eminem track in there or something, I'm sure, you know. Good times. What are you guys drinking on tonight? Wow. Nice that was nice. You gotta yeah. get on it. This is true. They're going down pretty smooth, too. I know, because that Sixer's done. about done, and <laughs> you guys will forget. They're only 4%, though, so yeah, it ain't no right. big a deal. Jay, I'll let you do the honors. Oh, how nice of you. All right, so tonight, from uh, New Holland Brewing, we have the Carhartt Woodsman. It's an oak aged pale ale. It's actually pretty nice. There's, uh, I don't know if anything really stands out about it. It's hoppy to me. Let's see. It uh, celebrates craftsmanship and hard work. Locally grown Cascade hops bring a brightness to this oak aged American pale ale. Malt sweetness and toasted oak combine for a smooth, refreshing finish. It pairs well with burgers, barbecue, and a job well done. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good It's not bad It's easy drinking Yeah Definitely easy drinking Oh yeah But then we have this other bottle Are we tapping that tonight? I'm gonna tap it right now Woo This is uh, also New Holland Brewing It's Dragon's Milk Reserve Woo. Salted Caramel Bourbon Barrel Stout Sounds scary I know It does Also sounds delicious Sounds interesting. What's the uh, alcohol content in that bad boy? 11%. 11%. <clears throat> in the uh, Carhartt Woodsman is only a 4.4. Right. I think Stepping that's why it's going here. down a little bit easy. This bottle was gifted to me from a coworker. That never hurts. Who was the uh, same guy last week who sold me the KBS. So we're going to taste this and see what what's going on with it. The anticipation is building. No doubt. <laughs> Where's New Holland? Holland, Michigan, I believe. Yeah. Right, Holland, Michigan. Michigan. Cheers to you. First impressions? Tastes like a carnival ride. <laughs> I don't know. That could be a good or a bad thing. Like, is there excitement or is it like a dirty carny? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's a little warm. So it's... Thicker, I guess, than what we've been drinking tonight. True. It's got an oaky afterbirth. 
<laughs> after birth. <laughs> a little, <laughs> little bit. A little bit. Give it a sample. Smelling it. You smell the caramel right off. Oh, right away, right yeah. Off the rip. It's definitely there. Yeah, it's like melted caramel in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, no thanks. Uh. Beers like that scare me. <laughs> you want to smell it at least? Sure. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess it wasn't too scary. No, it tastes good. It's not bad. No, it's not no. bad at all. I imagine if it was really cold, cold it'd be, it'd be better. really yeah. good. But I'd say our put beer in, etiquette is a bit off tonight. We apologize. Put it in your fridge that's not plugged in. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That'll keep it nice and lukewarm. <laughs> Weather's finally breaking. So, if it snows now that you said that, I'll be pissed. I'm holding you responsible. I'm over it. I'm over all this winter stuff. Yeah, no, I think we're done. I hope so. I think this weekend is our turning point. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 70. Oh, really? Sunny oh, all yeah. day long. Oh, I might yeah. wash the car. Yeah. And yeah. To- we're going to wash the car. We're going to barbecue. <laughs> There's going to be all kinds of things going on here. Monday, it's going to snow. <laughs> well, we'll deal with that on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir. It has been a pleasure having you in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank thanks you. for coming in. Yeah. You can come by anytime you want. You know, the door is always open. Sure. Oh, yeah. and if you come in, there's somebody in that seat. You'll just have to piggyback on what they say, I guess. Tell them to get to getting. Get to getting until we get a fourth mic, and get then to it'll getting. Be, the game changes. That's true. So for tonight, we would like to say thank you to all of our listeners. As always. Those of you out there hitting the play button. I um, want to thank New Holland Brewing. Making quality products yeah. right here in the mitten. It's a killer logo, too. I like it with the yeah. axes. It's a windmill. Say that again? It's a windmill. <laughs> it's a fucking windmill. Take your time. It'll pop up. It's like look, one of those 3D pictures. The, yeah. you got to stare at it it's for a, a while. It's a sailboat. should be on this side right here. Pretty confident it's a windmill. Okay. It's a windmill. It's a windmill. All right. Makes sense. Either way, it's good beer. It's good beer. Quality product. I still taste the... Uh, Dragon's milk. Very caramel. It wasn't terrible. It was not. I tasted too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time. We'll see you for 23, folks. <laughs> <laughs>